What are you doing? That's enough. Take it out. Take it out for real. Take it out. He didn't want to stop. He just let that thing cook like there's no tomorrow and it's a while you. I was like, Uncle Roger, you got to get it out of there. Thanks Alexa for sponsoring this video. Today we are going to be reacting to Uncle Roger's video. He came to my house to learn how to make the perfect steak and we achieved that. So enough talking and let's begin. Uncle Roger, I love cooking all type of food, but the one food item I'm not very good at making and that is steak. Guga! Hey Uncle Roger, welcome to Miami. If Guga can teach me how to make steak perfectly, Uncle Roger gonna give him Uncle title. Yes. By this time, I was super excited. We already had a game plan going of what exactly what we were gonna do, but we were not sure how things were gonna turn out. Welcome to my house, Uncle Roger. Let me show you around. Uh, so here we got nice. all of my editors. Nice. Your editor? Yeah. Oh, you have, you have so many little slaves here, Kuka, look. <laughs> He comes out with these jokes out of his head and you don't know what to expect. I was like, come on, Uncle Roger, they're not slaves. They are my family. I'm with these guys every single day. You're gonna call them slaves? For real? Do you feed them well? Look, this guy looks so skinny. Look at this guy. They are. Hoodie, cap, headphone. Just say you virgin. Just say you virgin. <laughs> His girlfriend is not gonna like you for that one. <laughs> so before Uncle Roger came, he said, Guga, I would like for you to teach me how to cook some steaks. What is the best way to cook a steak? I said, well, every steak is a little bit different and you gotta treat them differently. Why don't we cook three steaks instead of just one steak so that we can show the audience the best way to cook them all. This is a skirt steak. Since it's very, very thin, it cooks quite quickly. And then this one here, I think we're gonna butter baste it. Ooh. And we're gonna cook it in a cast iron skillet for some people that don't have a grill outside. And then this one here, this is gonna be your ultimate challenge since it has a lot of fat and marbling. It's a Japanese Wagyu A5 New York strip. Wagyu A5? Yeah, flares up quite a bit whenever you're cooking it. He actually got nervous off camera and everything. He was like, why am I gonna be able to do this? Because it's quite challenging to cook a Japanese Wagyu A5. So that is a genuine reaction there. He was really nervous. Two steak and then the last one, we're gonna burn Kuka house down. Hiya. Don't burn my house down. What? What is this? What is this camera? Look, what? Why are you eating lizard? <laughs> it was actually a gift from my nephew. He went hunting. Your and... nephew give you this? Yeah. My nephew don't love you. <laughs> That's right, Angel. You don't love me. What kind of gift is that? Uh, these two videos already came out. You guys probably saw it already. And uh, I actually offered to Uncle Roger. And uh, this is what he said. I don't know if they're going to taste good. I have never tried it. We're going to give it a try. Would you like to have some? I think, Guga, I think you're making too many video. <laughs> you're running out of video idea. I'm not running out of video idea, Uncle Roger. What's going on here? It was a present. What do you do when somebody gives you a present? You treat it the way it's supposed to be treated, right? First step, Uncle Roger, we gotta season the meat. First with salt. Just use feeling. By the way, I didn't teach him anything here. He knows how to cook. He knows how to cook for real. Have you seen Salt Bay? He do this kind of random shit. That's true. What do you think of Salt Bay? If you watch my channels, you know uh, me and Salt Bay are not very friendly. <laughs> There's several different reasons why, but um, if you want to know why I do not like it, check out this video. So, Garaja, that's all good, but I think we're missing one thing. <gasps> the king of flavor. Salt on crack. MSG Fuyo. For whatever reason, he loves MSG. He's addicted to MSG, everybody. MSG is good, but he's a little bit addicted. If you know what I'm saying. That's a joke. That is a joke. That's a terrible joke, but it's a joke. Do you know what MSG stands for, Kuka? Monosodium gluten, man. No, make shit good. <laughs> Just a nice, good amount, you know? Okay. Everything too much is not good. You agree? Except for one thing. Uh. Money. Never enough. I like money. Now on these two, I like to put a little bit of garlic powder. Why you use garlic powder and not real garlic? Because this tastes better than garlic powder on steaks. If it's fresh garlic, then you would the flavor won't enhance so much. <gasps> right here, I almost had a heart attack, everybody. I was like, what are you doing, Uncle Roger? You know, <laughs> why are you putting that much? Relax, Kuka, okay. relax. All right, thank you, Uncle Roger. You freak out too easily. That's true. You freak out I, I, I like to take my meat seriously, you know? That's right, I take my meat very seriously. Do you beat your meat a lot? Do you like beating your meat? Yeah. Nice. Quite a bit, actually. That's what Uncle Roger do because I don't have woman in my life. Lonely. Oh, really? Beat my meat every night. Every yeah? The come more beat. you beat the meat, the better it is, Let's right? beat our meat together. Come, go, go. Sure, come. let's beat it. Niece and nephew, check this out on Pornhub. He's a dirty uncle. <laughs> do you like Jamie Oliver, Guga? 
I'm not familiar with Jamie Oliver so much. Emotional damage! He make all our ancestors cry? I've heard he puts chili jam on rice. Ugh! Don't even mention that. Uncle Roger rather eat that lizard. I think next video I'm gonna do together with Uncle Roger is the chili jam steak. Fuyo Kuka! Let me know in the comments down below if you guys wanna see that happen. I promise you, we're gonna make it happen. Avocado. Well, you need different oils for cooking, as you know, Uncle Roger. I know you're an expert. Look at this extra virgin. You don't need this. Just go to your editor room. All the extra virgins editing your video right now. You see? How can you take it seriously? We just had a blast, everybody. Because it was joke after joke after joke. All right, Uncle Roger, I like to cook with charcoal. Fuyo! Look nice. Here, you control it on the top. Fuyo! He really enjoyed that flamethrower, everybody. So we got the grill ready nice and hot. Let's put the steak right in here. But first, see how it's super hot and the grill grate is turning white? He told me he didn't have a lot of experience cooking with charcoal at all. So this was actually one of the first time he's actually got to cook with charcoal. Just quick spin so we have a nice fry. Oh, that's good. Now put the steak right in the middle. Uh, why you don't want to put on the white pot? Because it will burn. That's what a lot of people say that grill marks are good. It's actually bad, it's just burn. Oh, look at you, Uncle Roger, like a pro. Uncle Roger talks shit a lot, but I can cook also. That's true, he can cook. Oh, look at that color, Uncle Roger. Yo. So we're just trying right now to get a nice crust. Some people say never flip steak. Just They're wrong. One side. They wrong? They're wrong. Yeah, you gotta flip it as many times as necessary. That is a fact, everybody. The more you flip the steak, the evenly you will cook, and you can also visualize the crust. So make sure you flip it as many times as needed. So all you gotta do now is cover it up. What's the temperature we need? One, three, five. All right. You don't take it out at 135, you take it out at 130. Yes, you take it out a little bit before. Uncle Roger knows. Now we're just gonna let the steak rest. Even though he's a comedian, he does a lot of research on food and he knows. Oh, fridge, fridge, look at fridge. this. Fridge, you wanna see the fridge? Everybody wants to see your fridge. I sure it's full of all type of meat in there, correct? So here's a fun fact, right before he opens this thing here. Right before he arrived, we were doing a photo shoot for the cover of my book and all the recipes that we've done for the book and everything so I had a lot of herbs I was like don't open that because it's full of herbs what the hell vegetable notice inside of my refrigerator everybody there's every single type of condiment and also some herbs but nothing else except butter and cheese this is me look at this look at this everybody likes my freezer all right, Uncle Roger, for the next one, it's a little bit more challenging because we're gonna use a cast iron skillet on the grill itself. Cast iron skillet, white people walk. <laughs> so first is a first layer of protection. Remind me of my colonoscopy. What? And then we got the second layer of protection. Second layer of protection. What, you think I'm gonna get this cast iron skillet pregnant or something? Why? You see, he doesn't stop with the jokes. A BTSM glove. High temperature oil. This is avocado oil. Good, good. Don't yeah. use olive oil for your steak. No, bad idea. Jamie Oliver do that. No, he doesn't. He loves olive oil on everything. He hates Jamie Oliver. Ooh, sorry, sorry. Are you okay? No, I'm okay. I, I'm worried about you. My jean okay, my jean okay. Okay, good. The crown jewel protected. What you guys didn't see this part right here is that he actually got burned on his hand for real quite a bit. Safety, number one priority. Safety? It's number one priority. This can handle a lot of heat, don't worry. Uh, Sorry, children. <laughs> you see guys, Uncle Roger is hilarious. And before moving to the next stage of the video, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Alexa. You guys know I always have my hands full making my crazy experiments, delicious side dishes, and juicy burgers. Because of this, my Amazon Alexa has become my best friend. You see? While I'm running around cooking, frying, or grilling, I can simply tell Alexa what to do and she will make it happen. Alexa can tell me the weather, play music, tell me jokes, and even turn on my lights. But lately, my favorite thing to do is to use Audible on Alexa. There's something about listening to an audiobook whenever I'm cooking, it just relaxes me. The selection of free title on Alexa in December gives Alexa users a chance to discover new favors and formats for free. And now during the holiday season, I like staying festive while cooking with holiday audiobooks. Alexa customers can now listen to a Christmas carol narrated by Hugh Grant. Just say, Alexa, read a Christmas carol. Starting your ad-supported selection. This is Audible. Come on, that's amazing. Now available for free on Alexa during December. Or if you want to try something else, just say, Alexa, what's free from Audible? Experience the classic tale of Oliver Twist like never before. 
with this new Audible original. Listening to Audible on Alexa, it's the perfect hands-free companion when I'm cooking, wrapping presents, or just relaxing this holiday season. Alexa customers can listen to A Christmas Carol, narrated by Hugh Grant on Alexa, for free the entire month of December. Just say, Alexa, read A Christmas Carol. Thanks, Alexa, for sponsoring this video, but now let's get right back to the video. And now we're gonna baste this. Now, another thing you can do if you don't want to baste, you can just like rotate the steak, you see? Mm. You just rotate. That's a good trip that I try to give to him because he was having a hard time actually basting the steak since the spoon was so big. Not only that, the cast iron skillet was right on top of the grill, as you can see here. It was getting really, really hot for him to hold it. So he was like, oh, no, it's too hot. And then I told him, okay, grab the tongues and then just uh, swing it around. That's another thing you can do it as well. What you really want to do is get the caramelizations and the brown butter on top of the steak. Steak, the milk solids become brown, as you know, as you're basting the steak. You want that part to stick into it. Whichever way achieves that, either basting it or rotating the steak on the butter, as long as you get that brown butter onto the steak, you're good to go. Since you like Wagyu, I have to show you something. Ooh, yes. We Only oh Wagyu on Coraggio. Oh my God! Wow! Every type of Wagyu ready to go. Look at this, so much marbling on here. How much this compartment costs? Uh, more than myself. You don't cost that much, good guy. <laughs> That's so true, I cost nothing. <laughs> this is the final countdown. This is not a good idea. I must say this already. At this stage right here, he was really nervous, everybody. He was like, Guga, you stay right next to me. This is gonna really happen. He's like, Ankaraji, you got this. Oh no. Because when the fat melts and it hits the fire, then the fire is gonna come all the way up to here. This sounds dangerous. It is dangerous. Are you sure you wanna do this? Before we were shooting this, I actually showed Matt Stoney's video when I was doing it in the ring of fire with a lot of steaks. I cooked, I think, if I'm not mistaken, 14 steaks all at once and the amount of fire that came up and I showed him the video. He was like, holy moly, I'm not gonna be able to do that. I said, Uncle Roger, you got this. It's gonna be fine. He was nervous for real. He's a nephew smack like now to give Uncle Roger the strength to do this. It might be my last video. I might die here. He was nervous for real. It's okay because you signed the waiver. If this is my last video, Auntie Esther, Uncle Roger, love your cooking. My last word. Good luck, Uncle Roger. I'm out. Spin. See, as soon as you put it, not much happens. You just wait. <sighs> Uncle Roger have bad feeling about this. Told you, he was freaking out. You stressed out? I can out? see the fire coming up now. It's starting, you see? Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh yeah, and you Get gotta the, wait. Wet the fire extinguisher. We don't have one. Oh no. Time to flip? Time no. to flip? No. Have patience. Patience, Uncle Roger. You look nervous. Yeah, the fire, too high. It's too high. Uncle Roger's scared. Yeah, you better not. That costs a lot of money. Don't mess it up. Flip it. No, 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 no. So we had two cameras going. One was Leo and the other one was Angel. Angel was shooting down and they used more Angel's shot than uh, Leo's shot. But the fire was literally coming up to his chin right here. Oof. Spin, spin, spin. Spin, spin. Put it back, put it back. Woo. Okay. Okay. It's gonna happen several times. <laughs> that was an evil laugh. <laughs> so evil, this yeah. guy. I gotta go eat at Salt Bay restaurant. No, it's Uncle Roger. I'm a bitch about you. <laughs> Trying to kill me. No, you like flavor. So this is the best way to cook for more flavor. I go like flavor. But I also like staying alive. Ooh. See right there, that's where the fire was at its highest point. It was coming up here, but they used this shot here, which is a tighter shot than a wider shot. Uh, you guys should see it. He actually even got some of his hair burned over here. It was pretty intense. Yes. Uncle Roger scared of the fire. No, don't be scared. Fire is good for you. Fire is not good for you, everybody. <laughs> what the hell was I saying? Is Crush. that why your face like this? You've been burned? Your face been burned? Several times. times. That's okay. Who okay. Where your hair go, burn, burn off also. Of course, you got to get roasted. <laughs> That's true, I yeah. have no more hair. Now you see how the edges, we need to crispen up the edge a little bit, so hold the edges there on the green I have rig. to hold my hand Yes, over right. The Look at the floppy meat. <laughs> he always gotta make a joke out of something. Anything he makes a joke out of. Remind me of my own, that my nickname for my meat, A5 Wagyu. People love to put it in their mouth. What did he say? Hey. <laughs> Hold that stick a little higher. 
What are you throwing? That should not take it out. <laughs> take it out for real. <laughs> take it out! I don't want to be rude and I don't want to scream at him, but he wasn't taking it out. He was like making so many different faces. I was like, take it out! I don't want it to mess it up, everybody. Oh, yeah. Good job, Uncle Roger. All right. So what you guys didn't see is that we cooked all of the steaks and as they were cooked, we went ahead and put it on the food warmer so they stay nice and hot and then we can do a nice ending. That is the best part of the video right there. We're just having a good time and eating it. This is scut steak. Oh, it tastes like steak from Waffle House. No. Kidding, kidding. <laughs> Do you see his face? Do you see his face? No. Come on, man. Don't talk bad about my meat. This is how you bully Kuka. I know how to trigger him. That's right. <laughs> Ribeye. Check the bone out first, correct? Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Medium rare, baby. Let's go. Mm. That's an Outback Steakhouse. Wow. You cooked it. See? How to make Kuka angry. The big one. Big one. A5 Wagyu life threatening steak. I won't talk shit about this one. Yeah, I know. You better no, not. Steak, it costs too much money. <laughs> That's the big one, Uncle Roger. Let's take a look. Whoa. Oh, yo. Nice. Even after we put that thing to pieces, everybody, trying to get the thumbnail going crazy as many times as it was needed. Perfect medium rare. So I give you my hats off to you, Uncle Roger. Good job. That one was a really delicious steak, everybody. Mmm. It oh. just melt in your mouth. Like butter. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Can't stop eating this. We should only eat wagyu steak. <laughs> or other steak can fuck off. Why are you so expensive? If you can't afford steak, just eat chicken. Save money. Until one day you save up enough money, eat wagyu steak. Kuka, mm. you are a wonderful teacher. And Uncle Roger gonna call you Uncle Kuka from now on for you. Yeah! Yeah! Uncle Kuka! That was awesome. That's the video, everybody. He was such a nice, fun person to be around. We had great chemistry, not only myself, but also with the crew. We spent good time together. Everybody had a blast filming with Uncle Roger. The jokes do not stop. Like, even when he's not Uncle Roger, he's still funny. Uncle Roger. Nigel, we are friends for life, brother. Thank you for everything. I hope to make another video real soon. Let us know in the comments down below if you guys want to see that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one.